Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom domain name to your GitHub Pages website. So this is my GitHub Pages website URL here. And as you can see, I added a custom domain name for it. So this custom domain name I purchased from Namecheap.com. So we're going to show you how to configure everything and set everything up so you can have your very own custom domain name, just like I do here. Hey guys, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want you to do is go over to the GitHub repository that you want to add a custom domain name to. I'm going to be using this one as an example, my website. So once you're here, you're going to click on settings and pages. All right, and this is the URL to the current GitHub pages site for my application. I can click on that to see my website. All right, so let's go ahead and add our custom domain name in this section here, custom domain. So in here, you're going to type in the domain name that you purchased from Namecheap.com. You're going to click Save. And as soon as you do that, this is going to try to link to your Namecheap DNS. And we have not configured that, so you should get an error like this. So let's go ahead and configure what we have to configure over at Namecheap.com so this could be successful. All right, so let's go over to Namecheap.com. And if you have not purchased a domain name all you have to do is type the name in here so let's say you wanted to purchase codefox.com type it in there click enter and this is going to give you a list of domain names that are similar to codefox.com because the actual one is already taken all right so if you wanted to buy this one for example you could just add it to cart and you can go ahead and go through the process of purchasing it through the process they're going to ask you if you want to add add-ons onto this domain name but you don't really need any of that stuff so you could just purchase the domain name by itself all right once you do that go ahead and sign out and go to the home page so you can follow along all right so we're going to sign in here and this is going to ask us for our verification code so i'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back with that all right so i'm going to enter the verification code click submit and once you're logged in i want you to hover over your username and click dashboard. All right, once you're here, you're gonna hover over this house and you're gonna click on advanced DNS. If this is not available for whatever reason, you can also click manage. All right, and now we can click on advanced DNS. And once you get to here, you should see two records, a A name record and a C name record. You might even see a different kind of record. It's not a big deal. Just go ahead and leave those alone. We are going to be adding a couple of records in here though. So click the add new record button and we're gonna be adding an A record for host. We're gonna type in the at symbol and for IP address, we actually have to go to the GitHub documentation. So I'll leave a link in the description to this website here so you can find it right away. And once you get to it, I want you to scroll down to the section that says configuring an Apex domain. And you're gonna go to step number five and here it says create a records point your apex domain to the ip addresses for github pages so we actually have to create an a record for each one of these ip addresses so let's copy the first one paste it in here and let's add one for each of those ip addresses And just as a side note, if you watched my tutorial on how to link your GitHub pages to your custom domain name from GoDaddy.com, you might have noticed that I only added one A record. Well, I found that with GoDaddy.com, you only really need one for it to work. But with Namecheap, I actually had to use all four to get it to work. So go ahead and add all four of these. And one final record we're going to add is going to be a CNAME record. For this one, we're going to use www for the host. The target is actually going to be your GitHub handle. So for me, it's going to be I am CodeFox. So we're going to copy that in here. And then .github 
Io. And for this here, we're going to select 60 minutes. Go ahead and click Save All Changes. And once this is done, we can go back to our GitHub. Let's go ahead and click Refresh. All right, and this is going to try to reconnect, but it's not successful. That's because it takes some time for GitHub pages to recognize the changes that we made over on Namecheap.com. So just give this a couple of minutes and this should be ready to go. Once it's ready, instead of seeing this little symbol here, you're going to see a check mark. All right. So currently it's 1137 AM. I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when this is ready. All right, guys, I am back and it is now 1157 AM. So how long was that? It was about 20 minutes. I don't even remember. All right, so not that long, but this has now turned into a green check mark. And now if we click on this, it should now direct us to codefox.com. So this is our new custom domain name. And that is how you link your GitHub pages website onto your custom domain name from namecheap.com. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful. Or you can hit the thumbs down if this did not work for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.